In the first part of this video tutorial, I've completed the GUI design, and in this part, I'll handle the logic for add, update, and delete functions. You can find a link to the first part of this video tutorial in the description below. Open c -sharp file. Create a function type void. Call it AUD, means add, update, delete. And expect two parameters. The first is the SQL statement, the second, the operation code. Create message variable. Create the command object by calling create command function from connection instance. Assign the SQL statement to the command object as command text. Specify the command type as a text. Now, create a switch for operation code. In case 0, that's mean add operation. In case 1, means update. In case 2, means delete. For each case, update the message string according to the operation. The SQL statement will have placeholders and need to be replaced by parameters. So let's add parameters for each case. Open try and catch block. Execute the SQL statement and return the number of the row affected. If the number more than zero, that means some row affected. And display message box for the user. And update the data grid control to display the added or updated or deleted record. Now let's handle the click event for add button. Create the SQL statement variable for adding data to the database. The values would be placeholders for the parameters. Now call the function AUD and pass two parameters, the SQL statement and the operation code. Zero means add. Then disable add button and enable update and delete buttons. Update and delete buttons should be disabled on a startup. Just select the button and from properties window and tick the option is enabled. The buttons update and delete will be enabled if you select one of the rows in the data grid control. So you have to make an event listener for data grid control. 
Select Data Grid Control, go to Properties window, and click on Event Trigger button. Search for Selection Changed Event. Create the event. Now cast the sender object as data grid object and retrieve the selected item. If the selected item doesn't equal to null, then populate the form with the selected item. Then disable Add button and enable Update and Delete buttons. Let's add the logic for Update button. Create the SQL statement variable for updating the record. Now call the function IUD and pass two parameters, the SQL statement and the operation code. One means update. Add the logic for delete button. Create the SQL statement variable for deleting the record. Now call the function IUD and pass two parameters the SQL statement and the operation code. 2 means delete. Also I have a couple of things to do after the delete operation. I'll create new function type void, name it reset all. Reset all form data. Enable Add button and disable Update and Delete buttons. This function also called on Reset button. Now let's start the application. Add a new record. Update existing record. Delete record. This is how to create simple data-driven application to do the basic operation such as add, update, and delete. That's all for this tutorial. I hope it was easy to follow and helpful. Thanks for watching.